Attorney General Josh Stein announced today he's running for governor in 2024. Stein has talked about a run for months, but this makes it official. And so far, Stein is the only Democrat announced. This is our moment to protect our freedoms and democracy, provide every child a great education, and expand economic opportunity to every corner of the state. Because if you work hard, where you come from should never limit how far you can go. WRL state government reporter Travis Fain joins us now via Zoom to preview the campaign. And Travis, you, you just heard uh, from the AG right there with the campaign kickoff. Is there anything to take away from the messaging initially? Yeah, well, a lot of that campaign kickoff dealt with uh, Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson letting the Republican Lieutenant Governor kind of take the stage in part of that announcement with some of the controversial comments he's made. So I think we're going to see this be culture wars probably front and center as we as we move toward 2024 if these are the two candidates no other uh, primary candidate uh, against Stein so far and two years away from uh, how this could all play out this is an early announcement it's not a surprise uh, why the early announcement does that help well it, it can't be too early if political campaigns never end right uh, <laughs> This is going to be a monster race, uh, hugely expensive national attention. Robinson, the presumed kind of Republican frontrunner on the other side of this, has a lot like Stein been the frontrunner for a while. Stein's political consultant told me today, look, it was just time to start. It was time to, to, to do this. And like I said, Stein came out swinging. It's going to be interesting to see how the race, it, two years away is a long time. You just never know what's going to happen. Uh, but right now, it's looking like an interesting race with the abortion being a major issue. And uh, we'll see who else gets into this thing. Yeah, and that's it. I mean, does Stein face any opposition in the Democratic Party? Is this a coronation for him? You know, we've been nosing around on that for a while. And there are some other possible candidates, but no one who's floated their name enough to take that beyond just speculation. So it, Stein may well be the sole candidate for Democrats. He's fundraised really, really well. Uh, on the other side, the Republican side, Robinson has fundraised really well. State Treasurer Dale Falwell, we expect him to make a run for governor on the Republican side. He texted me today, just said, hey, voters will have an option in the Republican primary. So we'll see, but you know, polling shows Robinson way ahead. And both Stein and Robinson are just hugely successful fundraisers. Uh, they will have millions and millions and millions of dollars for this race. Yeah, already off to a start uh, in that regard. We'll see how it is received by the public in the years to come, right? Filing in the race doesn't start until December. Uh, primaries in this race are slated for March 2024. Travis Fain with our NC uh, Capital team. We appreciate the time and insight there. He's North Carolina's top law enforcement officer, and he soon could have an outsized influence over the future of, of, of abortion. WRL's Brian Anderson recently spoke at length with Josh Stein, the state attorney general, who is mulling a run for governor. My friend Nicholas was in the house across the street, and basically we just ran together and got into trouble every day after school. Here in Chapel Hill is the house where Democratic Attorney General Josh Stein grew up. It was an upbringing free of the hustle and bustle the town has become today. It's also where Stein first formed his political views. Well, my, my parents uh, uh, were very proud Jews and they infused us with Judaism and, and what the fundamental values of Judaism are. And, and foundational to that is this sense that each of us has an obligation to try to make things better than the way we find it. It's Stein's definition of a better world that has put him in the crosshairs of Republicans. In 2020, Stein secured an extended deadline for mail-in ballots to be collected, a power lawmakers have since limited. Republican leaders decided let's make a political issue about this in order to try to influence the outcome of the election. And so it was a made up controversy. It's not real. Stein has also come under fire for refusing to defend a state law that bans abortion in most cases after 20 weeks of pregnancy. Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson is planning to square off against Stein in the 2024 general election for governor. Robinson's known for his hardline views on social issues. He wants an outright ban on abortion. But Robinson says that unlike Stein, he can separate his personal views from how he'd govern. I believe that he has been derelict in his duty. Uh, based on his political beliefs. He has not stood up for many of the things he should have stood up for in this state. He has not stood up for the people of North Carolina. I believe he has stood up for a political agenda. 
And that is not what we need in this day and age. Stein sees things differently. I am a person of conviction. My convictions are just different from Lieutenant Governor Robinson's. I don't believe that gay people are filth. I don't believe that women are second-class citizens and that men should be the ones who lead. I don't believe that abortion in every single instance is murder. While Stein is committed to getting Democrats elected this November, he also has his eyes on 2024. If the voters keep giving me the honor to serve them, I want to find the place where I can make what I think is the most good for the most people. Brian Anderson, WRAL News, Chapel Hill. And if you'd like to learn more about Stein, how he got where he is today, and the political fights coming his way, visit nccapital.com.